Welcome to video tutorial number 11. In this video we're going to be completing rounds 19 to 21 of our bunny legs and body and in the last video we were doing the stuffing so make sure your stuffing isn't too far up because we're going to be crocheting around the edge and we don't want to be catching that stuffing. Um, so let's have a read of what we're going to be doing. So round 19 is seven double crochets and then a decrease. If you remember in the abbreviations, DC stands for double crochet, DEC stands for decrease. And because that instruction is in brackets, it means we're going to be repeating it. And obviously after the brackets, it says times four. So that's how many times we're repeating it. So what that means is we're going to do seven double crochets and then a decrease, seven double crochets and a decrease, seven double crochets and a decrease, and seven double crochets and a decrease. And it's very helpful if you look at how many stitches you have already and how many you're going to end up with. And that will also give you a good idea of, of what you'll be doing this round. And at the end of line 18, you had 36 stitches. And at the end of line 19, you're going to have 32. So we're losing four stitches. And that is the four decreases that you can see. Um, so that makes it simpler. So you, you're not getting mixed up thinking you're doing seven decreases per line um, because the numbers would not add up so you're going to be losing four stitches so that would mean four decreases so it's just a bit of a tip to to help you get your head around it while um, while you're learning so we're going to start with seven double crochets and then a decrease so we'll show you exactly how to do that and how to do a decrease too because that's something new we'll be learning today so let's get hold of our crochet so obviously with a uh, double crochet, it's just one stitch in each double crochet. And we'll just show you again the lifting method. So if we lift that, we can see that line there is lifting that stitch. So that is a stitch we have already worked. That's a done one. We will not be doing that one. If you look at it from there, you can see that's lifting. You can only see a little bit of that V. We've done that stitch, so don't accidentally do it again. It's a really common common error when you're learning is been struggling to see which is your next stitch and a lot of people end up going back in stitches they've worked before and then they end up with far too many stitches or if you're accidentally missing them you're going to end up with too few it takes a little bit to get used to but it's quite a handy tip lift it up if you're not sure that that's lifting that's not our stitch this is our next stitch it's a nice clear defined v and it's not rising like that you can see that hole you can see where that's lifted that stitch there is the one we have already done so this is our next one here in there so under both loops again got hold of all our yarn so we're going to do a double crochet so we're under and then over so that's our double crochet so that's number one two three, four, five, six, seven. So we've done seven single double crochets. If you've lost count, then just, just count through them and check again. So the next thing we're going to do is a decrease. Now all we're doing here is we're turning two stitches into one so that will reduce our stitch count by one there are several different methods some people just miss one and carry on um, but that can leave a small gap i find the neatest way is called an invisible decrease and it just makes it so that when you're looking at your work you can't see it some decrease methods you've got an obvious line or something you can see something's been done and it doesn't fit very well um, with the texture so this is an invisible decrease what we're going to do is we're going to grab the front purse the front side of the V on both of those stitches so this is our next stitch so we're just going to grab it with our hook one and then the next stitch we're just going to grab that with our hook so we've got both of those front loops on our hook so it's not the full side like we usually do there's the inside line on each of them is left untouched and now we're just going to carry on as if it's a normal double crochet. So we're going to grab our yarn, but pull it through those two front loops. Normally you just pull it through once, but we're pulling it through both of them. And then we're going to go as if we're going over the top and pull it through. 
So in effect, instead of going under both loops and working our stitch, we're just grabbing the front loop of each one and then carrying on as if it's a normal double crochet, but we'd have the two loops to pull it through um, the first time. So we'll carry on and we'll show you again each time. So that and the stitch we've worked, it looks a bit bigger look when you're lifting it. So that's our decrease. But when you look at it at the end, you won't even be able to see it. So now we're doing seven double crochets again. So seven single double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now we're going to do another decrease. So if you remember, we're going to grab that front loop. So just the front section, the one nearest to you, front, front on your hook. And then we're going to grab the yarn and pull it through. But there's two loops, not the first one, just those two. And then yarn over again and pull it through those. So there's our decrease. So off we go again. If you need to rewind that and watch it quite a few times, And you can do that. So we're going to do seven again. So three, four, five, six, seven, and then another decrease. So do it a bit quicker this time. So we're grabbing both loops, pulling our strand through. We've got our two loops again, like so. And then our last one, if you're not sure where you're up to, Remember the trick from earlier, we'll count back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine is correct because we're going to have um, seven normal double crochets and then stitches eight and nine will be decreasing together. So we'd have nine, seven double crochets and then the two is our final, final decrease. So count backwards again if you're not sure. So we're doing our last seven double crochets before our last decrease and then our stitches we should then have 32 so it's just a gradual decrease because we're going in from the tummy now we're narrowing to go up the body is getting slimmer so that's the reason for it so our last decrease is front loop front loop grab the yarn pull it through those two loops and then grab it again and through that and we're done so move our marker still make sure you're using your marker and still make sure that you are counting at the end of every round i'll just pop my marker on like so and we're going to do a quick count just to check we're correct but please please do this at the end of every round while you're learning it's so easy to think oh i've done that correct so i don't need to and then find you've gone completely haywire <laughs> rounds back and then you just got to pull it back and start again so we're going to count our stitches now so we're counting we'll count backward from our marker because that's easy to see I'll drop the hook down just so it's out of the way so we're going to count from here so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 31, 32. That last one in there, look, that's our next stitch. So we have 32 so that we know we're exactly on track. Now the next two rounds, let's move our post-it note. The next two rounds, round 20 and 21, are just simply 32 double crochets. For two rounds so next I would like you to do round 20 to so just do 32 double crochets so that's one double crochet in each stitch so no increases no decreases just one in each back to your marker move your marker and then also round 21 is exactly the same so you'll go all the way around again and back to your marker so because it's two rounds just be careful when you see a row like so don't accidentally think it's one round you can see they're 20 to 21. So it's 20 and 21, 32 stitches, two rounds. We'll write that to make it nice and clear. 
And of course, you can see you're going to end up with exactly the same number of stitches as you had before. So you're not changing the stitch count. So if you continue with that and do rounds 20 to 21, and then I'll meet you back for line 22 in a moment.